currently on our way to Owsley County. It's 8.30 a.m. January 21st, 2013, MLK Day of Service. Today, all of our VISTAs are taking part in service projects in their particular areas in which they live. So this year, in honor of MLK's birthday for our service project, we decided to create a project based around the 26 Acts of Kindness initiative that was started in response to the Sandy Hook tragedy. Um, so what we have asked our VISTAs to do is to recruit families in their communities to complete 26 acts of kindness, one for each person that lost their life at Sandy Hook Elementary School. The whole goal of the project is just to spread kindness in the community. I'm Shayna Turner. I work in Owsley County. I'm going to be working at the Owsley County um, Health Care um, it's Nursing Home with the patients, with the activities director. We're going to, I think we're going to be playing bingo. I like to work with the elderly people and I just think they need someone to visit them and have a good quality of life. Our first stop is complete. We are now on our way to Breathitt County, um, Jackson, Kentucky to see Laura Kelton and Heather Clark. I'm Heather Clark. Um, I'm a visitor working in Breathitt County and today I am volunteering at the New Hinson Geriatric Center. This morning um, they're doing jitterbugs when you're in the cafeteria working with the residents on um, some hand activity, coloring, working puzzles, looking at pictures, um, and then later this evening we got a volunteer sing along, and then we have a bingo at two o'clock with the residents. Well, I've worked here before, so I know that it needs a lot of residents don't have somebody to come in and see everything, and they just need to see a new face every now and then. It's important to community service because the community gets to know you. You get to know your community, you get to find out what's going on in your community that you more likely would not know. You get to meet new people. My name is Laura Kelton and I am the investor for Breathitt County and today I'm working at a local um, nursing home. Earlier this morning I was helping some of the, one of the residents um, beat some bracelets which was a lot of fun and um, I'll be helping out with they have a little bit of a church ceremony that we'll be doing, and I think there's bingo later. I think it's a great um, asset to the community to be able to help out at, I mean, they, they don't always get visitors, and it's sometimes nice to go there and visit them. So that's kind of to me, nobody makes it on their own. You know, we all kind of help each other, and to me, service is helping others, and I mean, I know things I've done I couldn't have done by myself, so it's kind of paying it forward for what I've got and what I will receive. My name is Candace Gray. I am here at the um, Adult Horizon Healthcare. And what we're doing today, we've come out and these residents come here to play activities and just do things during the day. They're not residents, they're community members that come out during the day. This is a daytime place. And they come out and play games and we're actually singing with them and they are picking out songs that they would like for us to do and we've picked them out on the keyboard. I think anytime you think about service, that means you're giving. You're going to um, give to somebody. Like that, when I think of service, you think of like fast food service, or you think of services. You're providing for somebody's a need is being met. That's what I think of service. After I leave here, I'm going out to our local. Um, it's called the Lord's Gym, and it is our um, community gym. I go out there, and I'm just gonna 
clean those weights and try and pick up in the activities room and do what I can to get that place nice and clean. just finished our third stop on our grand tour of Eastern Kentucky. We just visited with Candace and McKee. Um, she was there singing to seniors, which is awesome. And now they're actually going to clean one of the local gyms. So I'm really excited about all the things she's got going on. We are now actually heading to Clay County to visit with Carlene. And she is volunteering today with Big Creek Mission. They're gonna be packing up some clothes and other items to donate to one of the community centers that works with single mothers. grease everywhere, carpets everywhere, and it was awful. So you saw the before and after photos, you go, wow, that is different. My name is Carlene Coots. I'm a VISTA working in Clay County, Kentucky, and today I am volunteering at the Risen Sun Outreach Center in Big Creek, Kentucky. But this bridge goes to um, Heart and Soul Foundation in Manchester. They are, they help women who um, are girls who are pregnant, they just don't have a big clue what to do. They don't have support of their family when they're going through pregnancy, and uh, they need that extra support, whether wondering what to do, how to take care of a child. They have um, child care classes, and also if they feel like they want to maybe give the child up for adoption, they also have um, helping them maybe establish a career where they want to go back to school. They're working right now to build a dorm, for mothers who just don't have anywhere to go after they have a baby. Anybody up there? Okay, it is now 4.43 and we have finally, finally come to the close of our day. It was an awesome day getting going out and getting to see what the Vistas are doing in terms of direct action in the field. I really enjoyed it and I can't wait to hear what the turnout is, what the reaction is in terms of the community um, doing the 26 Acts of Kindness. I hope that we have a great response and have a ton of families who choose to participate and spread goodwill in their communities. I think that's one of the things that's really good about this particular community, whereas we may have difficulty getting people to come out to events, the 21 or 26 Acts of Kindness is not something where they actually have to come out somewhere and meet somewhere at a specific time. It doesn't hinder like their, their job, daycare, any of that stuff. And I think it's something that we'll be really good at responding to because we're a community that likes to, that likes to help one another. 